Hi, this is Andreas from eSurfer and today we are talking about e-foil scooters. Uh, Flightboard already brought the flight scooter in 2023 and now in 2024 Audi Aerofoils is coming with the Hyperfly. First, e-foil scooters, what is this about? Yeah. So these e-foil scooters are the easiest way to e-foil. Yeah, they are pretty safe. Why I wouldn't give someone an e-foil without a lesson for a rental, for example. In my opinion, this would be too dangerous. Uh, I think this you can give out right away because it's much safer. Uh, these are huge boards with a lot of volume. They have a shorter mast with 60 centimeter. They have both jet engines, so no open propeller. Uh, they have a handlebar. Uh, which gives you four points of contact uh, with the board. Uh, due to the shorter mast, uh, you cannot really go over the handle. And last but not least, uh, with the handle, uh, when you fall, you basically push the wing always to the other direction, so there's no risk to fall into the wing. Let's talk about the differences of the flight scooter versus the Hyperfly. On the first view, they are very similar. Both are huge boards with about 230 liters. Both have a 60 centimeter mast. Both have a jet engine and both have a detachable handle. Uh, one big difference is the handle. Yeah? Because the flight scooter, for example, is using the standard hand controller, which you can click into the handle. This has the advantage that you can use the same hand controller when you want to e-foil without the handlebar. On the other hand, uh, in order to change the gears, you have to push the buttons in the middle of uh, the handle, which is not so comfortable. And on the other side, they are using the thumb to accelerate. And I personally don't find the thumb so uh, sensitive. Compared to the Audi Aerofoil solution, they have an integrated hand controller, which you cannot use standalone, but uh, since it's integrated, you have on the left side controls to change the gears, and on the right side, you can use your index and middle finger to accelerate, and I personally have a much better feeling in these fingers compared to the thumb. The second difference is the uh, 60 centimeter mast. Uh, on the one hand, you have flight board with an aluminum mast, and then you have the Audi with a carbon fiber mast. But the special thing about this mask from Aerofoils is the anti-breach system. There is a hole in the mask on, on this height and it sucks air, feeds it into the jet, which will reduce the power. What this means is if you go too high, you will automatically go down a little bit. And I have to say, you have to get used to it, but once you trust the system, yeah, it really works. I mean, of course, you cannot jump like this, it will not work. However, if you just slightly go over, it will always reduce you. I noticed this, especially when I was doing curves, that I didn't have to be afraid that I get too high because it would automatically adjust the height. Both scooters have a safety key. Flight has a Bluetooth uh, safety key, which goes to your wrist. Uh, once you fall into the water, it will disconnect and the motor shuts down. In our Aerofoil's case, it's a magnet. Uh, again, it goes to your wrist and when you fall, uh, it shut down the motor. Price-wise, they are in the same league. Uh, you have to configure, obviously, them in the right way. It should be the large battery, it should be the premium charger, and then they are around 16,000 uh, euro, both of them. Um, Riding-wise, they are very similar. And uh, I have to say it's fun, you know. Uh, I don't think that for a good e-foiler this is an option to throw his e-foil away for an e-foil scooter. That's, that's for sure not the case. However, I think it's fun. My e-foil trainers said the same. They, they enjoy to ride it once in a while. Uh, but it's mainly for people who maybe need a tender so that they can go to the restaurant in the evening floating above the water without getting wet. Uh, or for people who don't feel familiar to use an e-foil, this is a good option. Uh, both are fun. See you.